Isn't it ironic how accounts like this, which dedicate themselves and have dozens of videos denouncing their ex-religion, which is Christianity in this case, and are so obsessed with it, yet you've left? Why do you care so much? Why is your whole personality about this thing which has left your life now? Ain't it ironic that people who have been raped and sexually abused become allies for those who are still being raped and sexually abused, speaking out against it to be supporters of these people? I mean, what are they thinking? Shouldn't they just get over it? <laughs> Let's see what else you've got to say. Now, it's like them people which are obsessed with their ex and they're constantly talking about, oh, I'm so over my ex. He was an arsehole. I don't, you know, he's out my life now. He's part of my past. Now I'm looking to the future. But you're constantly talking about him and everyone can see that you're still hung up. Right, it's actually just like those people, isn't it? It's also just like those people who were abused by their parents their whole lives and now they spend a lot of time talking about narcissistic and parental abuse to try and help other people. And they speak on it often because they're still processing all the pain and all of the things that their parents did to them. It's just like that, right? So by your logic, anyone who talks at all about how their ex abused them still loves their ex? I'm not done with you yet though. Let's continue. I'm convinced that these type of people are really just denying the fact that they know that God exists, but they just want to rebel against God so badly that they create their whole personality type because the devil has taken it. And I'm convinced that every single Christian who runs around telling people not to be gay and not to be promiscuous and not to do any of the things the Bible speaks against actually deeply want to do those things. They are the gay ones and that's why they're talking about it. Ugh. By your logic, dude, Christians must love Satan and secular ideologies because it's all they talk about. Being an ex-Christian, ex-Christian evangelist, now deconstruction TikTok maker, just like the content creator that you pointed out. I hear a lot of arguments in favor of God and Christianity and Jesus. They're all pretty bad, but this one has got to be one of the most childish and uninformed I've ever seen. Look, if you can't come up with any proof that your God is real or that Jesus exists, just say so. Instead, though, you're going to resort to ad hominem attacks because that's literally all you've got. I'm going to sit here with my smug little smile and be like, oh, they're only talking about religious and spiritual abuse so much because they deeply believe in God. One more time, just to clear it up at the very end of this TikTok here. By your own logic, Christians speak against atheism so much because they're really atheists. Think about that. Cheerio!